Hey guys, welcome to uh, this radio video and um, quick video. I'm going to show you that I'm adding channels to my uh, realistic walkie talkies, those little CB radios that I've uh, bought at a uh, um, flea market for uh, 10 bucks. And uh, so I've ordered, uh, actually, I had crystals already, so this one is already filled with crystals because you see there's channel A, B and C so there's three channels possible here. They came with channel 14 on A which is the standard for these uh, walkie talkies. Uh, and I've had a channel 19 on the B and channel 30 on the C. So now I got three channels here and uh, ordered on eBay crystals for the other one because I didn't have enough crystals for both. So here's the other one and uh, if we look, this is the inside of the walkie-talkie. And here are the crystals. Now you see there's a red and a gray one because there's two crystals for each channel. One is for the transmit and one is for the receive. And basically uh, the way it works is that um, one of the crystals uh, for the transmitter is the exact frequency of the channel. The other one in reception is the frequency of reception minus the um, intermediate frequency uh, or plus the intermediate frequency so to receive it has to be um, 455 kilohertz lower that's why there's two crystals here one for receive and one for transmit and of course we have to be careful not to invert the receive and the transmit crystals so the red one is the receive here and the gray one is the transmit and uh, the, the crystals that I've ordered on eBay are really, really nice because they're, um, the person that sent me the crystals actually put an R for receive and a T for transmit on the crystals. So it's pretty cool. And um, he actually even put a little red mark on it to show that the receive is the, the red one. So if I have colored crystals like this. So we uh, just put in the crystals in the little sockets there. Uh, it's a little hard because it, the sockets are quite tight and to actually push them in is uh, almost a little exercise here. So we'll put these two here. Actually I'll just check make sure I'm putting the right one that I want. And um, yeah, this is the channel 22. So uh, I've ordered a channel 22 for um, one and I've ordered channel 30 for the other one. If uh, you remember, I, sh I told you that on A, on this one I had 14 and on C I had 30. So this one will also have 14 on A, 30 on C. The only difference is that in the middle, channel B, the other one will have 19 and this one will have 22 because I wanted to have at least one channel that's different for each pair, for each walkie talkie and uh, at least two channels that are the same so that I can actually communicate between each um, working walkie talkie. So we'll enter once again. This is the channel 30 I'm putting in the C position here. Um, a little hard to, uh, to get in. Uh, so you got to be careful also not to uh, crush or break the uh, crystal also because uh, these are quite delicate. Let's enter the uh, transmit one first. Um, a little, requires a little uh, dent here. A little hard to enter actually. Um, to uh, make sure they're really, really put in the uh, proper position here. And uh, once you've uh, started to enter, here we go, one entered, um, enter the other one. They take quite a good push actually to uh, enter the uh, socket. And here it goes. All three of them are entered. Now I've got three channels, so three pairs of channels. We're going to actually put the uh, cover back and we're going to uh, test the uh, channel. So if I, before putting the screws of course, I'm going to uh, test it. So let's check it out. Normally on my receiver here that you see, I've uh, entered the frequencies that I want to. So I'll turn it on. 
First of all, do I have a receive on all frequencies? Yes, I do. Second of all, so let's try, make sure that 14 works. 14 is 27.125. So let's put it at 27.125 and check for a signal. You'll see the signal strength here and maybe my voice. One, two, one, two, one, two. Working well. Let's go now to channel 22, which is my new channel, which is 27225, which is position B on my talkie. One, two, three, working well, once again. And finally, channel 30, which is 27305. One, two, three, working well also. So now that confirms that my channels, that my crystals are well placed in my radio. So I'll just simply put back the screws on the talkies and here we are. I have now got filled with channels my two TRC 214 walkie talkies. All you have to do is just uh, Put the screws back. Three screws to take out. Very easy to change. You don't even need to have uh, a lot of knowledge uh, to really actually put crystals in these things. So here we go. We now have the pair of talkies that have uh, channel 14, 22 and 30 and this one is 14, 19 and 30. So only the B channel is different on both, but if I want to communicate between them, the A and the C will be the same channel. So that's loaded with crystals. Uh, by the way, if you have, or if anyone out there has these, and they're wondering where do I get crystals, I bought them on eBay. There's this uh, guy in the United States. Um, he has the best price. Uh, they're a little expensive. I, I didn't think crystals would actually cost that much, but uh, he's the one with the best price. Uh, $8 shipping included, so it's $8 US dollars. So I ordered two from him, uh, one of channel 22 and one of channel 30. And actually, if you uh, go on eBay, you'll see uh, he's the guy that has all these channels. And he tells you which channel he has left and which he cannot uh, give you. So. Uh, it really, really doesn't have a lot of crystals. So if you're looking for crystals for your old walkie-talkies, uh, check it out. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this little video showing you that uh, how to add crystals in my realistic TRC-214 and uh, 73.